Hello everyone. Uh, today let's see uh, how to build our Angular application uh, and uh, you know, serve uh, from the server like with the help of HTTP server locally. And on top of that, we can deploy our Angular application in Node.js server as a static one so that we could listen uh, to the same port uh, to run our Angular application and to listen to the REST API services. So first, let's see our Angular application code. So this is the uh, directories and files which we, uh, which is created after ng new uh, application command. And uh, so inside source we have app folder, and these are the default content, default files which is included. So I just modify uh, the uh, HTML content. And now let's navigate to the application and uh, listen the output in the browser. So, so, so the Angular application, so Angular CLI provides the command in this way. So ng serve is the command to to build our application uh, in development mode. Now, if you see, you know, so the ng serve command starts building application and uh, it generates five the script files uh, one is the main.js polyfills runtime styles render so our custom codes everything goes inside all the components and everything goes inside main.js uh, polyfills is something like uh, uh, browser different it brings the browser's native functionality wherever it is applicable and uh, runtime chains and styles uh, so we know all the css or sas files goes inside it's uh, no, unified and it goes inside styles from this and the vendor is something uh, uh, third party angular third party uh, libraries unified and so inside and that so now let's see uh, the output So if you see here, the application uh, is you no know, listening, running on this particular thing. So you can just simply copy and paste. Even you can change the port number uh, as you want. So if you see here, so the thing, whatever we have uh, inside app that component it is uh, the part. it is running. For. Okay, great. So then, uh, so this is the development uh, version of our application. So uh, like to serve Angular application, to host application from the server, uh, we need HTTP server, uh, like which is lightweight to serve Angular application. Okay. Right. So if you see here, you know, it's uh, added to our node models. And uh, now uh, we have to serve the application uh, with the help of HTTP server. And uh, before that, we have to uh, build our Angular application. To build our application, we need, uh, we have come an ng build hyphen hyphen prod. Uh, prod is the option, like we say, uh, we, we should build our application in such a way, like if you mention uh, hyphen hyphen prod, the performance is better much way. So everything is get verified. And uh, so the so performance will be better and the files will be reduced. Uh, right. So uh, to open your Angular, uh, Angular or JS, JSON. So here uh, we already mentioned, so the output file. So, 
Mm. I just show you uh, how the Angular application. Once you build the application, uh, so we we can provide the output path and how it should be uh, and the name of the application. See, uh, so instead of options, we have output path. Uh, which says like disk slash first medium. So you can change as you want, but right now it is a uh, disk slash. Right. Uh, yeah. Command is taking time. So the ng build uh, command started and it is you know bundling everything. So here you can. It shows the percentage and uh, bundling. And let it get completed so that uh, we can check the output uh, from the browser. Right. So now the build is over. And uh, so you can check. See, here the disk folder is created and uh, first medium folder. So this is our uh, no, output application. Uh, so it starts from index.html, as I said, uh, so it will have uh, main JS polyfill runtime stack. Right. So before that, uh, we need HTTP server, we already installed. So we are going to serve uh, our Angular application uh, from the HTTP with the help of HTTP server. So for that, uh, we need a command HTTP icon server and the uh, path of our uh, application. So it is first. Right. See, here it shows the path. So from the 8081, no, uh, we can. So if you run this comments, right. So we get the Angular application, but it's a no, it's local server from HTTP server. Right. Then uh, now uh, we move to uh, Node.js so that uh, no, the same application, uh, we can host our Angular application inside our Node.js. Uh, so what I'm saying is we can, uh, so right now we have the build copy of uh, Angular application. Uh, HTTP server is the lightweight server, which is available for Angular application to host. Uh, the same way, uh, going forward, uh, we take the build uh, copy of Angular application and put it inside our Node.js server, and we can uh, uh, do the same stuff. uh right so uh now what i did uh, like this is our uh, angular application uh, directory so i on top of that i just created one more file uh, javascript file which is server.js so so what i'm going to do uh, i'm just i'm going to write uh my you no know, i'm just going to create node.js uh, server inside this particular file and uh from this file we can you uh, know host our uh, angular application okay Let's see how we can achieve this. So what I did, so this is my server.js file. I just, uh, you know, so for demo, just, I just putting, uh, printing the Angular server apps. Just let's see how it runs. So, so I already, you know, uh, navigated to this particular repository. So node and server.js. So this is a command to uh, run our uh, node.js node file. Great. So right now it prints the thing what we executed over here. Okay. Uh, let's move. Uh, no. Uh, let's move to uh, create our uh, uh, server file. Uh, server which 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 should help. Like uh, we can uh, listen. We can uh, listen to REST API. Uh, get our post methods. And uh, the with the same port uh, we can. Uh, uh, host our uh, Angular application. So before that, uh, uh, I choose Express, uh, which is a great uh, no, uh, library uh, 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 available uh, in Node.js. So 
Okay. Um, okay. Let me install Express. So this is a command to install Express JS. And uh, let it get uh, uh, let it get completed. Meanwhile, I am just creating uh, my app, uh, which is uh, which is internally. Uh, so with the help of Recur, I am just uh, you know including the model Express JS model, and uh, on top of that, I am just uh, you know executing the Express methods. So, so everything written. So you know, right? If you have JavaScript background, uh, if you have worked in jQuery, you know uh, what is the purpose of uh, you know, the jQuery library, which is you now all the JavaScript functionalities are you know are written in a simple way and uh, uh, inside uh, uh, jQuery. So the same way, all the functionalities, uh, basic uh, uh, Node.js functionalities, written in uh, ExpressJS. So I'm just simply calling, uh, initiating this express method and uh, which is uh, stored in app method. Wait, let's see, it takes time. Let's try. Wait, uh, now uh, we installed express JS. Uh, so let's move to the code and uh, here, you know, I added two more uh, 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 variables. Like one is the body parser. Body parser will be helpful. Like when you uh, return uh, JSON to the client. So and another thing is to listen to create server and you no know, uh, to listen to the uh, Node.js server. Uh, we need port. So 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 we created as a port and uh, no it, it it can be anything. It, it's a custom port. It can be any number. Right uh, now, uh, let's listen to our uh, sorry part uh, of the port and the lambda expression. Right, so. Uh, I'm just printing uh, uh, no? like uh, so that we could uh, have this starter and uh, listening listening to the port right. Let's see how it works. Oh, sorry. Node and server.js. Great. See, uh, now it is printing and the port number over here. Okay, even if you go to the browser and simply put localhost and 8082, uh, we are getting cannot get. Why? Because uh, we don't uh, know return anything to this particular port. So, right. Just server is created and we are not returning anything uh, on this particular port. So let's see how to create some uh, API so that we can uh, we can uh, on listening to this port we can return something and we can uh, see in the browser. Right. Right. Uh, if you see here right now, I'm just uh, uh, listening to the port and I'm getting the same output which we know uh, uh, for the Angular app. So right now the Angular app is running on the port and uh, let's see how I achieve. So I just added a piece of code right now. You can omit this. See, this is the line hello, uh, with the help of use middleware, uh, no, uh, with the help of use functionality configure or middleware. 
so what i did i'm listening to this so this is uh, absolute part so so if it is empty uh, so automatically it goes what i'm doing with the help of static uh, which is available in express i'm just uh, listening to this uh, uh, directory and this is for you now simple uh, ap get method so i'm listening to this receipt data we are getting this json output so let's see uh, local host 8082/receipt see i am getting the output in the same port with the by listening to this method and the default port i am serving the angular app. thank you hope uh, this application the basic demonstration how uh, the angular app uh, should be uh, deployed in uh, you know, as a static with the help of express in node js server Thanks everyone.